pour a glass of craft beer, we can do this. What's good, y'all? This is C Certified Brewhead, and welcome to another edition of Beer Mail here on BAOS Podcast. Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, I'm pretty excited tonight. Um, our mates over at Microbrasserie Le Bocal in Drummondville, Quebec, hollered at us. Um, I am assuming they did so because they realized how obsessed we are with both milkshake IPAs and Northeast IPAs. And you know what they done did? They went and got us uh, a beer that is both. This is a milkshake Northeast IPA from uh, Le Bocal and mate, I'm pretty damn amped. So um, I'm just going to get right into it, eh? This is my trusty Brewheads uh, opener. Link in the description to get the discount. Trust me, it's my favorite implement of all time. So let's uh, see what this. Come here, you bastard! All right. Oh yeah. So I got these a few weeks ago. To be honest, uh, I took them to Ottawa so Scott and I could do it for the beer awards. Um, unfortunately, we just didn't get any time to do it. So one of these is Scotty. This is yours, mate. Uh, I just figured I'm gonna have to shoot this video before these beers get. Uh, I'm assuming they would suffer from age. Uh, issues. All right, so this pours a lot clearer than I anticipated. Ooh, it smells good. Definitely very fruity. Now I got the little ting down here. Uh, the hops that we use are Citra, Fantasia, and Azaka, and it does, of course, have um, oatmeal, uh, rye, and Pilsner malt, and uh, lactose, which is the key element, and vanilla. So basically, it's a nice combo of the uh, New England and uh, milkshake IPAs. Definitely one of the least hazy. Um, <clears throat> of both styles I've ever seen. Like, this is damn near clear at the bottom, and then it kind of hazes up at the top. So I'm hoping that's not due to age or anything, but let's give it a crack, get in you. Hmm. It's great. Damn. It's almost like one of those, um, you know, they them trippy-ass stouts where they're like, I got one in the fridge here. It's the, uh, I forgot the brand, but it's the one that's like red. Like a red stout. I know Bose just dropped the Tom Green Summer Milk Stout, which is like a golden stout. So it smells like chocolate and the, the mouth feel feels like it, but it's like, looks like that. So kind of, this is giving me that vibe where um, it's a little hazy. It, it just doesn't look like it tastes. Definitely getting the vanilla on the nose there. Like it's got citra, so I'm definitely getting that tropical fruit. Yeah, great little head too. Good retention stain. Staying up, I mean, it could be from the glass too, but... Mm. This is really solid. I feel like the... Um, it's a little bitter more... I mean, I think it's uh, 47 IBUs. Yep. Um, so it's a little more bitter than the average Northeast IPA would be. And the, and the milkshake IPAs are generally pretty low IBUs. So I feel like this is a little on the higher end, which could maybe explain the, the lack of haze or whatever. I'm very much enjoying this. Though. This is really, really tasty. The fruit, definitely a lot of fruit. The lactose, I'm not really getting much at all. I'm definitely getting that vanilla. Mm. I kind of associate the lactose, and this might be wrong, maybe y'all can correct me, with like with somewhat of a haze. So because I'm not getting that, and maybe because of the bitterness is so high, uh, it kind of makes me a little worried that maybe it is too old. I should have had it a while ago. It's just, uh, well, there's no date stamp on there. I know we got these fairly early on, and uh, from what they told me, that they are planning on doing a whole series of these throughout the summer. So right now it's early June. Um, I'm hoping we'll uh, be doing more of these videos with every damn flavor under the sun, somewhat like the Bellwoods Milkshake uh, series. Um, that's the kind of vibe I got from them, which makes me really excited because the only other Milkshake IPA in Quebec I've seen is the uh, Jukebox New Wave, which is fantastic. Definitely that one is a little more intense than this as far as the haze, but a bit of a different vibe. Um, but generally, yeah, I'm not seeing a lot of beers of that style. So it excites me to see uh, stuff like this coming out of Quebec and, you know, close to home that I can get these type of beers quite easily. And I have seen it around and um, haven't heard anyone review it yet, but I, I saw it somewhere recently. So I was like, good, it's out there. People are loving it. So, yeah, this is fantastic. So make sure to check them out. Uh, Microbrasserie Le Bocale. I'll put all the links in the description. Um, this is fantastic. So you guys, if you enjoyed the video, chuck us a thumbs up, subscribe on YouTube, and hit that little bell that gives you the notification so you know every time we drop a video. Check us out on social media, at BAOS Podcast. Hit us up. We always want to have a chat with other fellow beer nerds. And um, if you want to hear the long-form stuff, check out the podcast, uh, Apple Podcasts, all the links are below. That's it, guys. Cheers. Get in here.